Everyone, this is Richard Oliver Jr., the executive producer of the Rhyme Impersonator Show, the Rhyme Impersonator Radio Show. We are here live at the Nigerian Consulate for the demonstration and protest for 200 girls that still have been missing in Nigeria. We've spoken to some amazing speakers here that are constant and focused on this event and demanding that the government release the girls, help to release these girls from this terrorist group. We've heard that some of the girls have died. Some of the girls have been, they've been um, in, in going through some amazing different, different things with this particular tragedy that is happening. And it is a tragedy, it is an atrocity that in 2014, women can just be kidnapped and raped and be subject to marriage. So we learned a lot of insight as well. I can't wait to broadcast this live on the radio show. It's gonna be great. And we're gonna, I hear Al Sharpton is gonna be here, so hopefully we'll get to get a little bit of his uh, input on this. And uh, we look forward to just interviewing some of the common folk people here that have kids and their parents. And we wanna see what their view is and how they feel about this, about this issue. Um, the Ryan Personnel Radio Show, we are here live, and um, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna be here. We're gonna stay here for a little while. All right, thank you. Come, come. Come, come. Uh, cover the just the beginning of uh, Sharpton's message with the Rhyme Personnel Radio Show. Do you have press credentials? Uh, we didn't have the press credentials, we just uh, reviewed some of these. Thank you. I bring you our friend, the mayor and first family of the city of New York, Mayor Bill de Blasio, Charlene de Great. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, sir. The new preacher of the family, Kiara. Mina, get, get shot. Thank you, I want to first say to everyone here, God bless you. Thank you for standing in favor of these girls who are going through so much right now. They need to know the world is with them. They need to hear. Thank you, Reverend Sharpton. Whenever people are treated unjustly, I know you're going to stand up. Lane and Kiara and I are here because for us this is personal. We have to take it personally. We have to feel as if it was our own daughter. We have to put pressure on those who would do something as dastardly, as horrible as abducting young girls who have no reason to be in the middle of this conflict. It's so unfair. It's one thing that Fight a political fight, but don't go after these young innocents and put them in harm's way. And voices of conscience all over the world are standing up. I want to thank Amnesty International and all the human rights organizations that have stood up. I want to thank the National Action Network, which always stands up. I want to thank Ketchi and the amazing people at Ketchi's project that educates Nigerian girls in Nigeria and Nigerian American girls. There are voices of conscience among our elected officials. I want to thank Comptroller Scott Stringer and all the elected officials who are here today in solidarity. And it is our job to say that we'll keep coming back and coming back until these girls are free. And the pressure has to be felt in Nigeria. It has to be felt not just by the extremists of Boko Haram. It needs to be felt all over Nigeria. And it has to be clear that any time there is violence against a girl or a woman, that is all of our business and we will stand against it anywhere in the world. And I remind you, 
Too many governments have stood idly by over the years while women and girls came under attack. Too many governments don't like to be reminded that sometimes they're part of the problem too. So this is even bigger than this one horrible moment. This is a reminder that all people of conscience will no longer tolerate women and girls used as, used as pawns in a political struggle, nor the everyday violence that women and girls experience in so many countries. And we're going to keep coming back until they are free. Thank you and God bless you. Let me say that I've talked to some of our clergy, Reverend Gray, and we've informed the State Department at the appropriate time, some of us will go to Nigeria and meet with some of the faith leaders there to see if we can help them appeal for sanity. I'm prepared to lead that delegation at the appropriate time. Before the mayor and Sierra and our first lady leaves, I want us all to hold hands. Aisha, our sister from Kenchi, let us all, Muslim, Christian, Jewish, whatever your belief, have a silent moment of prayer together for the safety and return of our daughters. Let us pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. Let's keep it going. Give Reverend Dr. Al Sharpton a big round of applause.